away with William Tell. Come away to the land he loved so well. What a day, what a day when the apple fell for Tell in Switzerland. Come away with William Tell to the mountainside. Look down to the pass where the tyrants ride. Hit a bow, be a bow, and down they go for Tell in Switzerland. Hurry on, hurry on, there's a dungeon cell. Hurry on, hurry on, there's a noose as well. But we'll escape from the jaws of hell for Tell in Switzerland. You clumsy oaf! Enter! Well, do something, can't you? I have you some good reason for bursting in like this, Hoffman style. Oh, stop fluttering about, man! A very good reason, then, Berger. It's the garrison armorer. Hmm? I have definite proof he's been supplying arms to the Swiss partisans. Indeed? What proof? Oh, a crossbow shaft. A crossbow shaft. Yes. This is his work. He admits it was made in his forge. Where is it? Armour up! This one of yours? It is. It was found on one of our soldiers, ambushed by William Tell. I see. What penalty do you suggest, Hoffman Style? Death, Landberger. I see no reason why I should spare your life. I see no reason why you should take it. Silence, traitor! No, no. Let the fellow speak. Well? If I were making arms for the Swiss, how could that be treachery? I am Swiss. I only work for you because you forced me to. All right. Stretch my neck and let's be done with it. You richly deserve it. Next time, I will. Take him away and beat him. You're not pardoning him. You don't think I'm going to let you hang my best armorer, do you? They can't go on. He's supplying the arms, they're smuggling to the resistance. Then put a stop to it, my dear Hoffman Starr. Have the fellow watched. Tighten your security. Double the town guard. Start a terrorist system at the gate. This is the time to catch some of these smugglers. But I will promise you one thing, Hoffman Starr. Landberger. The next man, woman, or child caught smuggling arms will die. There. Now go away. Thank you, Landberger. You... You may continue your inept ministrations. Father. Well, I'm going now. Yes. Crossbows. So you're still determined to try? They're starting a new attack tomorrow. They need as many arms as we can get to them. I don't like it, Hedda. My dear... Don't underestimate our enemies. They're shrewd and cunning. I'll be all right. Help me. Fine. Call the first prisoner. Call Schaffner. Schaffner! Maximilian Schaffner, late magician to the court in Venice. The prisoner is charged with falsely obtaining from Guardsman Grote the sum of ten silver crowns by pretending to sell him a love filter. Ah, the wise judge forced the pleasure to stand before you, my lord. Now, Schaffner, how do you plead? Not guilty, of course. You deny you sold this man a potion claimed to be a love filter? Well, here's this Austrian after one of our girls. A Swiss girl. She won't look at him. And are you surprised when you see that oafish face and that banana nose? Prisoner, I said, how do you plead? I'm coming to that. He comes up to me and he says, Ho oh, there, master magician, in that bossy way they have. You mean you plead not guilty? He asks for a love filter. Who am I to stand alone against the might of the Austrian Empire? I sell him one. So I take it you plead guilty? Me? You don't think I would sell Austrians potions to get our girls, do you? I'm a patriot. What did you sell him? Rose-colored water. There are many ways a patriot can serve his country today. Petty fraud is not one of them. Twenty-four hours in the public pillory. <laughs> Oh, 
Sonic, would you? Elfish face. Banana nose. That'll learn you. <laughs> Rusty and pink. <laughs> oh. Checking our tally sticks. Tally stick? Well, haven't you got one? No. Didn't they give you one this morning when you brought your goods in? But I didn't come in this morning. You had a tell. Well, tally sticks are new. They only started it this morning. What are you going to do? I'll go back into the town. Oh, good luck. Hey, where are you going? I've got to deliver these apples. Well, you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Every stranger must be out of town before sunset. But I promise. Go I... on. Hey, wait a minute. What have you got in there? An uh, apple. Why don't you have one? Go on. They're very nice. Hey. Here, catch. Well, bye. Have you done something? What do you mean? That's all for today, Your Worship. Thank you. A moment, Judge First. I fear we must trespass on your time a little longer. Pray be good enough to resume your session. What is it, Landberger? A case that must be tried immediately. What is the charge? Treason. A woman has been caught smuggling arms, for which, as you know, the penalty is death. I see. Very well. Bring in the prisoner. The prisoner! A judge of your integrity will not, of course, be influenced by the fact that the prisoner is your own daughter. You say the charge is treason. I do. This woman was caught red-handed, smuggling arms through the town gate. To whom was she smuggling them? To Swiss, of course. To her fellow countrymen. This is strange treason. We reject the charge. Release the prisoner. Wait. Judge First is supreme in this court. Do as he says. My dear. I can't believe it. Oh, neither can I. Now. You must leave Altdorf at once. Come. Ah! So sorry, Judge First. Disappointing for you, I know. But I could hardly take her publicly in the open courts just after you'd released her, could I? <laughs> Think what an unfortunate impression that would have made. It grieves me to tell you, but I fear you will never see your daughter again. There is, of course, one way in which you could help her. What way? I'd rather have her husband, William Tell. 
I'd consider an exchange. About time! About time! Now clear off. Leaving a man to die on his feet, Austrian dogs! I'll have my own back on a lot of them. I gave for my kick. Good lad. What news? They say that Gessler has William Tell's wife in his dungeon. Tell's wife in his dungeon? Yes. Once there, you're as good as dead. You can't come in here. Get out. <laughs> William. Are you mad? Oh, don't worry. I can get in and out of this town any time I please. I'm looking for Hedda. Didn't you know? Gessler's got her. But he says he is willing to exchange her life for yours. You go to him at once and arrange it. No, I won't do it. I'll go myself. Listen, William. Do you imagine I want to let my daughter die? Be sensible, William. Sensible? Look, I know my Gessler of old. Do you really think that if I gave you up, he'd let Hedda go? He'll kill you both. And what of Switzerland? But I've got to get her out. There must be a way. There is. And a dangerous one. Who are you? A rogue, Schaffner by name. But I can help you, Master Tell. Hmm? He's a charlatan. Granted, I may not be the most upright citizen, but I have a plan. Plan? All right, what is it? This powder, first discovered by my master in Venice. Don't listen. Go on. Only two people in the world know how to prepare this. And I am one of them. William. Well? Whoever takes it falls into a death-like coma. To all intent, they are dead. You get the beauty of the idea? You get this to your wife, she takes it. They deliver her body for burial to her father, the noble judge here. Happy ending for everybody. I beg of you, William, don't listen to him. What's the danger? This antidote must be given within four hours or else she dies in truth. You've never cared to help us before. I admit it. But the attentions of guardsman Grote have convinced me that my true interests lie with Master Tellier. Judge first, have you a cup and water? Put the powder in the cup. If this drug is what you say it is, drink it. Must tell her. I want to be sure this is not poison. Drink it. The antidote must tell. You remember, within four hours or I'll die. All right, Master Magician, I believe you. But if you prove me wrong, and your potion harms my wife, be very certain I'll kill you with my own hands. I was right, William. You can see right into the prison yard. That's the window, look. That small one down there on the right. Too much of an angle. Is there another house along there? No, nothing. And this will have to be it. Let's have that bolt you made. How are you going to get it right into the window? I think it can be done. Are you sure this file won't break? No, I've tested it. Uh -huh. Hospital.
the side of Tell. So much for his devotion to his wife. And I thought I'd got him. I really thought I'd got him at last. Well, what now? Put that brilliant brain to work, Hoffmannsthal, and tell me, what now? Uh, uh, well, Lamberger, it seems to me the woman must know something about Tell's movements. While we're waiting for him, what's the harm in asking her a few questions? It's an excellent idea. Now, Alexander, I want you to help me question the lady. Key man, you're so good at getting their little secrets. Charming. I'm sorry to have to disturb you, my dear, but I have to ask you a few questions. Poison. But how did she get it? Only one man who could have fired this bolt into that cell. William Tell. He's in Altdorf. This time, he'll never leave it. No! But Landberger, this is an outrage against all human feeling. I tell you, my decision is final. You cannot have your daughter's body for burial. But what reason can you have for this cruelty? I'm not going to give the people of this town the chance to make a martyr of her. She'll be interred in the felon's vault under the castle, after curfew. Curfew? No one will be allowed on the streets between sunset and sunrise. to get it to her, or she dies. The streets are patrolled, William. The soldiers have orders to shoot on sight. But I've got to get it to her. What chance have you got? Even if you get into the castle, the vault will be guarded and locked. You know how superstitious these Austrians are. They fear the spirits of those they have tormented may return to plague them. Maybe I can help a bit there. These are copies of all the castle keys. Castle keys? Yeah, they got me to make the original. I reckon copies might come handy sometime. Which is the key to the vault? Right, sorry, I can't tell you that, but one of them is. One of them is. Judge, this is where you leave us. Leave you? Look, I don't want to get you into trouble. Trouble? But uh, trust me, Judge. Good luck, William, for all our sakes. Schmidt, shout for the guard outside. The guard? You're being attacked. Your right. purse is stolen. He's a big man, enormous. You're scared. Come on, man. Guard! Help! Quickly! Guard! Guard! Quickly! Help! Quick, in the chair. Come on, let's get his uniform off. All right.
such touching devotion. I'm sure your late wife would have been deeply moved had she known. Take him away. Mistress Chell, you're supposed to be dead. No, no, it can't be. It's a ghost. you were a ghost. Listen, listen. All we've got to do is walk out of here. Moan a bit. No. 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 Mercy. Open the gate. Oh. Mercy. Oh. Never. Oh. Help! Help! Hedda, you can stop being a ghost now. <laughs> there. And we got these weapons. They're coming useful for the attack tomorrow. Come on. Follow on, follow on, let the leaders heal with a thrust of a pike and a crash of steel. Follow on with a fight till the tyrant trail for tell. And Switzerland, give them one for the day they banned the grain. Give them two for the night that Fritz was slain. Give them three, give them four, and a right one more for tell. And Switzerland, the shepherds took the reaping hook to take them on a warlike look. With blades we beat them from the plow, we reap a harvest now. Come away, come away with William Tell. Come away to the land he loves so well. Fit a boat, be a boat, and away we go for time. I'm Switzerland. 